Hello friends, today in this video we will discuss another command that is PDF command and how can we extract data from a PDF file using the PDF command. So stay tuned and watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any of the steps that we will cover in the video. So without any further delay, let us begin our discussion for today. To use the PDF command, we must first install the PDF package in our system. If the PDF package is not installed in the system, we must first install the PDF package. To install the PDF package, follow the steps as mentioned in the video. First of all, click on bots, then click on packages and search for the PDF package and then hit enter. Once you hit enter, all the search related to the PDF command will appear. Then click on the three dots and then click on install package. Since this is the community edition, there is no option to install the package. But in enterprise edition, if you do not see the package in the action list, just go to bots and the packages and then search for that particular package and then click on install package since in the community edition all the packages are being installed by default so this is how you can install a pdf package now we will take a look at each of the sub command that is present under the pdf package one by one first of all we will take a look at the encrypt document this command basically encrypts a pdf file which means we can set the password for a PDF file which contains sensitive data. So drag and drop the encrypt document command and select the PDF file from the desired folder location. Once we have selected the file, click on open button and then out of user password and owner password one password needs to be set so i am set set in the user password that is this and in the user permission we can select multiple options such as print modify copy form fill document assembly annotation and accessibility so i am selecting modify and in the encryption level by default it is rc4 128 bit is set you can select other two options as well so i am taking by default option as rc4 128 bit and then select the folder where you want to save the encrypted pdf file so click on browse and then click on desktop and give the name of the file and then click on open you can also save the file with the same name if you want to save the file with the same name then you have to check the overwrite files with the same name checkbox since I am giving the different name to the PDF file so there is no need to check this checkbox once you have set this then click on save now we will run the bot to see the output as you can see the bot has run successfully now we will go to the desktop location and open the sample one pdf file to check whether there the password has been applied on that file or not so go to the desktop location and open the file and as you can see it is asking for the password to open the file if you enter the password which you have given in the password field and then click on open file the file will be opened so this is how you can apply the password to a pdf file the next command that we will discuss is the decrypt document command this command is basically used to remove the password from the password protected PDF file. So to use this command, first of all drag and drop this command and select the PDF file which have the password on it. 
so browse the file from the desired folder location so for example i am taking the sample one pdf file which i just encrypted it so put the password or the put the password that is there and then save the decrypted file in the specified folder location so browse the folder location if you want to save the file with the same name then you need to check the p check the chatbots overwrite files with the same name and then click on save so we will comment out the encrypt document action and now we will run the bot as you can see the bot has run successfully now we will go to the desired folder location where we saved the decrypted pdf file so go to the download section and open this pdf file as you can see this time it doesn't ask for the password so this is how we can decrypt the pdf file So moving on to the next command, we will take a look at the extract text command. This command basically extracts the text from a PDF file and saves the extracted data or the content from a PDF file into a text file. So drag and drop this command and select the file from the desired folder location. After selecting the file, click on open button and there are two options in the text type whether you want to extract the plain text or the structured text so by default plain text is selected in the page range property you can select either all pages or the page number that you want to extract so in this pages option you need to give the page number which you want to extract and select the file in select the text file in which we want to save the data so it is so this is the location where i will save the file or the save the data extracted from the pdf file into the text file if the file is already exist then you can check the overwrite file with the same name chatbox and then click on save button now we will run the bot as you can see the bot has run successfully now we will go to the desired location where we where we saved the file and check the output so the data from the pdf file has been extracted into the text file so this is how we can use extract text command next we will discuss the extract image command this command basically saves the pdf document as an image file so now we will see the functionality of extract image command so drag and drop the extract image command select the pdf file from the desired folder location once we select the file click on open button Next, select the range of page which you want to save the PDF as an image file or you can give the specific page range which you want to save as an image file. So in this case, I am giving all pages as the range. So it will save the all pages that are present in the PDF file into an image file. Then in the next field that is type of image to be converted to we have the various options such as tiff bmp jpg gif png wmf emf and exif so you can select any one so i am selecting jpeg and then in the folder path we need to give the folder path in which we need to save the file so in the folder path, I am giving the path of the desktop and in the file prefix, so output file in this field, the output file will be created as 
like suppose if you give sample underscore pdf underscore one so the file will be saved with the name of sample underscore pdf underscore one if the file already exists then click on overwrite file with the same name chatbot and then click on save button now we will run the program to check the output as you can see the bot has run successfully so now we will go to the desktop location and see whether the pdf file has been saved as an image file or not so this is the file that we saved with the name of sample underscore pdf underscore one and underscore one so it added the prefix as one and the extension of the file na file name is jpg so this is the image file that has been created so this is how you can create the extract image command the next command that we have under the pdf command is the merge documents action this command is basically used to merge multiple pdf documents or files into a single pdf file or document so now let's see the functionality of how merge document command works so drag and drop the merge document command and select the files which you want to merge so in this case i am selecting two files after selecting the first file click on add then again click on add pdf document and select the second file so i am selecting two files to merge and then give the output file path where you want to save the merge files and give the name of the merged files if the file already exists then check the overwrite existing file chatbot and then click on save now we will run the bot to check the output as you can see the bot has run successfully as it as it has merged all the two files that we gave as an input to merge now we will go to the desired folder location and check the output and you can see it has merged all the pdf files so these were the content in those two pdf files one was the plain text and one file was in structured format was in unstructured format so it combined all the pdf files into a single document so this is how you can use the merge documents action so in today's video we discussed what is pdf command and also we saw how various commands under the pdf package works also we discussed the functionality of each and every command under the pdf package please watch like and subscribe to my youtube channel so that you do not miss out on the latest videos that i keep on sharing with you if you have any queries then do please feel free to reach out to me with your queries and i will be more than happy to answer or resolve your queries so that's it for today till then have a great day